Three-year-old twins die after being found unconscious in a car on I-95. This happened near the Golden Glades. Tonight, we're hearing from a close friend of that mother. CBS News Miami's Peter Den joins us live from North Miami Beach with what that mother had to say. Peter. Well, Ellie and Lauren, as you mentioned, we just spoke with a close friend of the mother, and she told me she cannot believe what happened. Miami-Dade police say there are a series of unanswered questions. It was around 2 in the morning when there was a 911 call about a vehicle on the I-95 northbound ramp to the Florida Turnpike in 826. Two children not breathing on I-95 in the Turnpike. It's northbound before the exit, right shoulder. They're on the right shoulder. That's a lot. That's, that's really sad to know that the kids lost their lives so young. Suzette Morant is horrified that these three-year-old twins, a boy and a girl, lost their lives when authorities say they were with this woman, Shirlene Alsim, who Morant and family members say was their mother. To be honest with you, she's a good mother because I know she has an older son. Her older son is about 16 or 18 years old. Morant says Alcim was such a good friend that she even co-signed on a loan for her car. She's been a good mother and that's the only reason why I got her the car because I wanted those kids to have, get around safe and reliable. Now somebody I know will do nothing like that. That's impossible for her. She's not that kind of person. So it's just so mind boggling right now to figure out what really went wrong. Miami-Dade police were initially told the children were unresponsive. This silver van was at the center of the investigation. We're looking for a silver Toyota Highlander. The female on scene who was the driver of the vehicle, uh, she was driving the vehicle where these juveniles were located, and that uh, adult female uh, went over the railing to the on-ramp onto the railroad tracks, which is a considerable distance. The mother was rushed to Aventura Hospital. The three-year-old twins did not survive. It's not clear how the twins died. The medical examiner will have to determine the cause of their deaths, as the injuries were not obvious. Now, as Miami-Dade police continue their investigation, the mother, as we speak, remains in critical condition at Aventura Hospital. Coming up tonight, starting live at 9 and 11, our Larry Seward speaks with the children's father. It was an emotional interview. We are live in North Miami Beach. Peter Dench, CBS News, Miami.